we have a collection of all messages, which is called messages. You can access it in the console. You can query it as well, which is find.fetch. We can count number of elements as well. So we've got that, and now we need to show that on the browser. We want to show each one of the content fields of each one of the message objects on our page. So the place to start will be our HTML page. We want to have something like this, something like an unordered list where we can see uh, each one of the content of each one of the messages. So if I type just that, you'll see that it's, it's showing it on the screen. And obviously this is just text, it's just HTML. Um, a good approach here would be to create a template so that we can have a more organized, a more modular approach to our code. So instead of just putting in all the code here, we could assume that there's a template called listing and we can create that template in here. What I'm doing is using a programming language, a templating language called space bars that comes with Meteor.js. That template language gives us access to these kinds of tags. So for example, this is how you, you can include a template in space bars is by using greater sign and then the name of the template. And these templates, this is not going to be rendered below the body. Um, it's, it's something that is, is put here only when it's needed, only when it's called. So if I save, you'll see after the code push that nothing really changed. We, we've got the same thing, but it's now more modular. After you watch this video, I strongly recommend you to go to hit, uh, GitHub and find the readme file of spacebars, because in here you'll see the full documentation of this templating language. It's, usual, it's, it's, very, it's quite simple to use. It's quite, uh, you'll be fine with just the basics, but it, I, it's recommended that you take a look just to see what kind of things uh, you can do with it. We'll be using it a lot. We'll be using space bars all the time. And I'll always be explaining every new concept as I, as I include it, every new tag that we use. So what I want to do here is go through each one of the messages. And I'm going to assume that I have access to the messages because I don't at the moment. But I'm going to assume that I have access to a collection, to an array um, that, is, that is called messages. So I'm going to use the each tag, part of space bars, and assume I have access to this messages collection. So what this, uh, what this does, let me get the right, what this does is that we are going to go through each one of the messages and we want to show the content field of that message, of the particular message that we are currently looking, looking at. So for us to do that, we can use the double the double curly brackets one more time. And when you use the double curly brackets, it will grab the property content of the current object that's in the, in the context at the time when this gets executed. So to make it more simple, we go through each one of the messages. For every message, we access its content. So we don't have access to these messages app, uh, thing yet. So that's what we add next. There's a concept called helpers in Meteor, which are functions that you can that, that you are calling from here. So when I type in messages here, what I really want to do is call a helper called messages that will bring me the data that I want to show. How can we, cre we create um, a helper? That's quite simple. So whoops, I'm using the order completion, but I want to make it more like that. So template.listing.helpers. That's how I can create uh, helpers for the listing template. I only want to have one at the moment, so I'm going to call it messages. By the way, it doesn't need to be called messages because that's called messages. So maybe just to make it more generic, I'm going to call it entries. And I'm also going to call it entries in here. So entries will be a function that all it's going to do, it's going to return the messages collection. Now, in here we've done uh, messages.find.fetch and in here I'm just doing messages.find. So what exactly is this? Let me show you. 
This is called um, a cursor, which gives you access to the to the collection, but it doesn't bring the whole collection out right away. So something like each will go through it, and this gives you the next one one at a time. So it will go through this and will keep on getting more until there are no more. That's called an iterator. Imagine if you had something like one million entries. If you use find.fetch, that always will, that will bring you a, an, an array that's a million elements. But if you use find, you can access just one at a time as you need them. So as you can see now, it, it is showing the content of all of the messages. So again, let's, let's look at it. Let's look at the full picture, but from a different perspective. So I'm gonna start here. Or when we are on our client, I wanna create helper methods that can be used in the listing template. I'm calling one of them entries, and all this does, it just returns a cursor to the messages collection. This gives me, gives me access to the whole collection. On my HTML, I have a template called listing, which could be included on different parts of the application. But in this case, I'm just including it in the body and that's the only template that we have. So what happens here is that for each one of these entries, that is what this returns. So this gets called and that is returned. Uh, we display the content. And now this is where the magic of Meteor comes into play again. And it's not magic. You can understand how this works. It's called reactivity. So space parse gives you the ability to work in a reactive manner. If I go and add an element in the database, so we're gonna insert something that has content, new, new message, you'll see that this appears here right away. So what's really going on? When I insert something on the, uh, in the console, this is inserting a new, a new object on the client side database which is pushing that to the server side database as we already saw. But also when, when you change the client side database, it also changes the user interface right away. So this is um, helpers are reactive methods. Every time this changes, this is called again. And this is re, and this part is, is redrawn uh, on the screen. It's, shown, it's, it's updated. So that is how we can show a list of messages on our page and our browser using templates, using helpers and using some space bars and reactive magic.